Have you ever released a video and then crickets? It got zero views. It leaves you wondering, why is nobody watching my video? Well, it's probably because you didn't do your YouTube SEO right, and as a result, YouTube doesn't even know what your video's about. Well, in today's video, I am gonna be breaking down YouTube SEO basics, everything that you need to do to set your video up for success. So if you wanna know what you need to do for your YouTube SEO, then keep on watching. A lot of people, when they're starting out on YouTube, think that they can just make videos, put it on YouTube, and suddenly millions of people will find it. Well, unfortunately, that is not the case. You may not know this, but YouTube is actually the second largest search engine in the world. And it is owned by Google, the largest search engine in the world. Essentially, YouTube is a search engine. And the reason they continue to be the number one and number two search Search engines in the world is because they have proven time and time again that they provide the best answers for the questions that people are searching for. And that actually is what search engine optimization is all about. Search engine optimization, or SEO for short, is the work that you put into your video to make sure that it can be found by the search engines. And so that the search engines can actually know what your video is about and then recommend it to people. And this might be obvious, but one thing that Google and YouTube are, are they are businesses. They make money. And their main business, one of the biggest ones, is search. They have gotten so dominant at search and they wanna make sure time and time again that they are your number one place to to go when you are searching for things online. Because guess what? When you search for things, they also have ads. And that's how Google makes money is they have the ads sprinkled in on the search results page, but then also for YouTube, they have ads on the videos. So by creating content that people are searching for, that they have questions for, and it provides answers, and they're able to find the absolute best video that gives the best answer, then you are going to stick around. You're gonna watch the ad, you're gonna watch the video, you're probably gonna see another ad, and Google makes money. So you actually might have amazing content that provides great answers to people's questions, but because you're not doing the SEO, Google's not ranking you, and no one's finding it. Now let's be real here, YouTube is not a human. It can't really watch your video and know what your video is about. So SEO is the work that you need to do to give Google a better understanding about what your video is about so that way they can present it to people who are searching for those keywords. And speaking of keywords, let's jump right into that because keywords are one of the most important things for YouTube SEO because they are the foundation of all the work that you need to do. So keywords are words or phrases that you give to Google letting them know what your video topic is about. These can be shorter phrases such as fashion tips or longer phrases such as how to organize a garage or how to groom my own dog. So before you even make your video, you should do keyword research. You need to figure out what the competition is like out there for the different topics that you wanna make your video about. So for example, if you wanna do a vlog and you want to rank for vlog, in doing your keyword research, you'll find out that that probably isn't something that you should target as a brand new YouTuber. While it does have incredibly high search volume, tons of people are searching for vlogs. The problem is it's very, very saturated and very competitive. So that means when you put your video, even if you optimize it the best you can, you're probably not going to stand a chance because there are other established videos and content creators that YouTube already trusts for that topic. So instead, you might want to focus on a longer tail keyword, something that not as many people are searching, but it has much lower competition. For example, how to make a vlog, how to make a vlog in 30 minutes, how to edit a vlog using iMovie. Now you're gonna find that these longer tail keywords are going to have lower search volume and hopefully less competition, which will give your video a better chance of standing out. So in doing my keyword research, basically what I start out doing is I just start typing into the YouTube search bar. I type what I think I want my keyword to be. And then what I do to validate that and get the data is I use two really great tools. One is called TubeBuddy and another vidIQ. They each have different pros and cons, but one thing that they will do is they will give you a score or a ranking of that keyword based on how competitive it is and the search volume. Now, one thing that's really important to note is you can have multiple keywords that you are trying to target. Not every video is just gonna be strictly on one topic, and there's gonna be other keywords that are going to relate to the video that you are producing. So you can create a ton of different keywords that you will then use when you're optimizing your video and your fields, but you wanna make sure that you have a 
focus keyword. What is the number one keyword that you are targeting? And you want to make sure that that focus keyword is everywhere and gets prominent placement when you are doing the SEO for your video. So that's just to give you a high level overview on why keywords are important and why keyword research is important even before you start filming your video. If you want me to do a full video on my keyword research process and how I do that, let me know in the comments below because I would love to do that for you if you guys want. All right, now that we have our keywords established, the next thing that we want to do is we want to start optimizing the fields that Google looks at in determining whether it should rank a video or not. And the first one is your title. One of the biggest mistakes that I see new content creators make is that their title literally has none of their keywords in it and it has nothing to do with their video. They're doing something that's very clickbaity or it has a hook or they're trying to be funny. And while this may work for very established prominent brands and YouTubers who they have an audience that's just going to click on their video no matter what, for smaller content creators just getting started, that is not going to serve you. And it's especially not going to help because Google doesn't trust you already. And they're going to see this video and there's no keywords in it. And they have no idea what this video is about. And then your description is just smiley face. The description isn't helpful either. And so Google's going to say, uh, heck no. Google's going to have no idea what your video is about. And it's not going to put it in front of its users. So if Google does that and they put a random video for some search terms, they're going to lose trust with their users. And then less people are going to start using Google or YouTube when they, are looking for an answer because they're like, well, YouTube just gives me crap now. They don't actually give me the answers that I'm looking for. All right. So the very first thing that you need to do when you have your keyword and your focus keywords is then you want to put that focus keyword in your title. So let's say I'm doing a video and I want my focus keyword to be how to groom a poodle. So in my title, that phrase, how to grow a poodle should be there, but you don't want to stop there. You have 100 characters to fill. So you might as well put some of your secondary or tertiary keywords in there as well. So how to do it on a budget, blah, 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 whatever your video is about, you want to put them in there. Now note, while you do have hundred characters in the search results, Google is only going to show the first 70. So you want to make sure that your focus keyword is at the very beginning of your title. Don't put it at the end because there's a chance that depending on how long your title is, it could be cut off and it won't show up in the search results. All right. Next up is your description. Ah, this is so good because this is where you have a whole entire space, a dedicated space to just talk about your video and what it's about. I see so many people who don't even bother to fill this out or they'll put just a little blurb. And that is a huge miss opportunity because it's basically blank space that Google has given you to say, Hey, hey. what is your video about? Tell me in a long form, a few paragraphs, even let me know. And people still choose not to fill it out and then wonder why they're not getting ranked. So this is where you will write out a big description about all the things that you cover in your video. I typically do two to three paragraphs where I'm talking about my video. I'm including different keywords, key phrases in there. Some key phrases may be more or less the same, but written differently. And that's because two different people might type the same question out differently. So you want to make sure that you include that in here in those two different ways. Now it's really important when you're doing this, you want to include the exact keyword or keyword phrase match in your description and also in your title. Try the best that you can not to break it up because again, that is what people are searching for that exact phrase in that exact order. So you want to make sure that you copy and paste that into your description. So another thing that's really important when you are doing your description is links. You want to have links to other videos or maybe have a section that says, watch more videos on this topic because YouTube wants to keep people on the platform as much as possible. They want people to just sit on YouTube all day long because the more they do that, the more ads they watch and the more money YouTube makes. So you want to make that easy for YouTube and make it easy for people who are watching your videos. So make sure to include links to other videos in your YouTube description because that will help increase the total watch time for your channel. And it will let YouTube know that, Hey, people are watching a ton of this person's videos. Maybe I should take another look and rank these videos more. And that is how you will end up getting picked up and recommended in the YouTube algorithm. But that is for another day. All right. Next up are tags. And these are really, really important. Some people say you don't need them, but again, it's another opportunity that Google is giving you to say, Hey, hey. what's your video about? At this point, you can literally copy and paste all of the keywords that you are targeting or want to target for this video into that section. Again, it's really important to include
include the exact match. A big mistake that I see new content creators doing is that they will just go for the broad keywords, vlog, grooming, poodle. So remember, the smaller the key phrase, usually the more competitive it is and harder to rank for. So you're showing Google in the tags, hey, I want to rank for poodle and I want to rank for grooming. So Google being a computer isn't going to know any better and it's going to put you on those search result page. But again, since they are more competitive, you're going to be all the way down. You're going to be on page six, seven, 10, 100, who knows? And so no one's going to find you and it's not going to help. So it's really important that when you are doing this, that you have long tail key phrases that people are searching for. So again, remember to do those exact match and long tail key phrases because that is going to be your friend when you are doing your YouTube SEO and give your video a better chance of ranking. The next YouTube SEO basics that you need to do is your transcript. The transcript is word for word what you said in the video. It's basically the script for your YouTube video. And you would be surprised the number of people who don't even bother with this step. They think, oh, YouTube has an automated transcript. I don't need that because they already did it for me. But stop right there because the automated transcript that YouTube puts out is usually really crappy. It's really bad. The AI that they use is good, but not great. And so you'll find a lot of errors in the transcript, but this transcript transcript is gold because it's literally all of the words that you said in the video. YouTube can't watch your video and understand what you're talking about, but your transcript is you handing Google your script and saying, here, this is what the video is about. Now go rank me. I actually use a service called rev.com for this. They are amazing. Their prices are so good and the quality is just perfect. You can have a transcript done by a person, which is going to be so polished and perfect. It's going to have spelling, capitalization, punctuation, all of the good things that you need, or you can do more of an automated one, but which is basically will get you 80 or 90% there. And you can just scan it and fix a few little things here and there. I've used both and I'm very, very impressed, but I would definitely recommend using a transcription service or a VA, or even if you have to take the transcript that YouTube puts out yourself and edit it. But whatever you do, please do this and don't skip over it because it is a huge indicator to YouTube about the topic of your video. And by doing this, in correlation with all of the other things, it's going to give your video a higher chance of getting ranked. All right, next up is file name. This is pretty obvious, but again, Google has given us lots of opportunities to say, what's your video about? What's your video about? What's your video about? And your file name is one of those opportunities. Most of the time when you export a video, it's gonna be a bunch of random garbly gook or random numbers, or maybe the file name of the initial video that you use. But again, Google is going to look at that and think, uh, I don't know what that means. And so I don't know what this video is about. So the thing that I do is I just take the title of my video and I just make that the file name for my video. And it's really important that you do this before you upload your video to YouTube because you can't change the file name after you upload it. All right, the last part of the YouTube SEO basics when it comes to uploading your video is your thumbnail. You wanna make sure that your thumbnail is very eye-catching. Maybe it has very bold graphics or pictures, but maybe has a few words that include your keywords or the focus of your video because people are going to look at the thumbnail and they're going to look at your title and maybe a little bit of description when they're in the search. And those things are going to be whether they are going to click or not. And having a really captivating thumbnail is going to help your video get clicked in search. And if people then watch your whole video, it's going to make your video rank even higher in search because it's proven, Hey, this is something that people want to watch. I should rank it more. I don't see a lot of people doing this, but another thing that I like to do is I like to make the file name of my video, which has all of my keywords. I like to make that the file name of my thumbnail image as well. So I'll usually just take the title and make that the file name. And then at the end, I'll write thumbnail. Again, it's another opportunity for me to tell Google what this thumbnail is about, what this video is about. This might seem really redundant and like we are hitting Google over the head with it, but that's how SEO works and that's what it takes. All right, so those are all the things that you need to do when you are uploading your video before you publish. So that's my next tip is that you need to do all of the SEO optimization before you hit publish.
It's so important that you have all your ducks in a row because as soon as that video goes live, YouTube is gonna send its crawlers to look at the video, look at the title, description, tags, all of those things to see what is this video about? Because Google is always trying to make its search results better. So if a new video appears, it wants to make sure, hey, is this a good video or a bad video? And if you don't have any of those things there when you upload, Google's gonna be like, garbage video, I don't know what this is about, I'm not going to rank this thing. And that's why you get zero views. So don't think, oh, I just need to get this video out. I can do those things later. Please, please, please wait and do all of the optimizations before you hit publish, please. So one of the most important things for YouTube SEO is watch time. If people click on your video and then they drop off or they close out or they go away after 30 seconds, Google's gonna use that as an indicator that uh, maybe this isn't a good video or maybe this isn't helping people for that search term. And so you're not going to rank. So you wanna make sure that your video is engaging, that it's really high quality, that it really does answer the question for those keywords. So while you can't really force people to sit there and watch your video, it's kind of hard to control this, but the one thing that you can control is the quality of your video. Video and making sure that it does the best job to answer those questions. All right, another really important thing that goes along with watch time is engagement. You want to have calls to action that people can do that will be indicators or cues to Google, things like, like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe if you want more amazing tips, or watch this video right here. By you having these calls to action in your video and people then doing them, these are gonna be indicators to Google that this is a good channel and they should recommend your videos more. Seriously, just like this video. Another tip when you're recording your video is to make sure that it is long. Shorter is not better when it comes to YouTube. YouTube wants to keep people on their platform, so it's going to tend to favor longer videos. Now that doesn't mean you need to extend and make this overly long, boring video, but you don't wanna do a video that's 30 to 60 seconds long because YouTube isn't going to like that. Google not only loves videos that get to the point and provide an answer, but it also loves videos that elaborate on the answer. So you wanna make sure that you really have a jam packed video with so many tips and tricks or whatever your video is about. So that way people find it really helpful and they sit and they watch the whole thing. All right, my next tip for YouTube SEO is playlists. This is so underutilized. Did you know that playlists show up in YouTube results? You not only want to create videos on certain topics, but you should also create playlists on certain topics. These can be playlists of your own videos, or it could be a mix of your videos and someone else's videos. And then when you create that playlist, you need to optimize the title and the description. So that way people know when they click on that playlist, what it's about. And more importantly, you let YouTube know what what that video is all about. All right, my very last tip when it comes to YouTube SEO is consistency, consistency, consistency. If YouTube is going to continue to recommend your videos and your channels, it wants to see that you're contributing to the platform, that you have a consistent upload schedule that it can rely on. Google likes to see its users continually putting out fresh content. That doesn't mean that it's not gonna recommend old content, but if you just do one video and you're done, it's not gonna see you as a credible source and it's going to take that into account when it's determining whether to rank your video or not. So make sure that when you upload, whether it's one a week, twice a week, every Friday, whatever, that you consistently do it and stick to it. All right, guys, that is YouTube SEO basics. If you found this helpful, give it a like. You see what I did there? Seriously, give it a like. You should. It's awesome. And let me know in the comments below what SEO tip you found helpful and that you are going to start doing in your own YouTube videos. If you really enjoyed this video, subscribe. Seriously, I would because each week on my channel, I have new videos on how to use online marketing and social media to grow your business. And of course, if you want more YouTube tips, check out these videos right here. That's all I have for now, and I'll see you next time.